first of all, let me give a shout out to Queen Mariah Carey. Her Christmas anthem, All I Want for Christmas is You, is that was released in 1994, Zale. That is officially number one on the Billboard Hot 100 charts. So, shouts out to Mariah Carey, Living Legend, Songbird Supreme, what have you. Y'all know I love me some Mariah. And um, I'm, I'm so excited just for being a lamb. How about that? All I want for Christmas is you. Yes, Mariah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to give y'all that. But anyway. Okay, this is Married to Medicine. Um, like I mentioned in my Real Housewives of Atlanta review, uh, Miss Qua, Miss Qua, she got it, she got it, and Kenya Moore Hoa was on um, Watch What Happens Live, Andy Cohen, Shady Show, and um, you know, um, allegedly, apparently, apparently, allegedly, way back when, when Kenya was, um, when when she was active in trying to reconnect with her mother, um, Sheree and. Uh, Quad was on Watch What Happens Live and they was making smart comments and Quad had laughed at, at what Sheree said about Kenya and the mom's situation or something to that effect and, and Miss Quad well let's just say Miss Quad was not feeling Miss Kenya more or um so you know this Quad should be you know Miss Quad is extra and she barely let Kenya talk, and yeah, child, you know Miss Quad. She she's a news reporter, child. So, oh god. So yeah. Anyway, so what else is going on? Uh, Quad is actually talking to Cynthia Bailey of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and others uh, talking. Apparently, her and Cynthia are really good friends. Um, and they were just talking about what kind of man she needs. Quad says he needs to have a, at least a 750 to 800 credit score. He needs to be making um, seven figures. And um, he needs to be, you know, not be fat, not be too skinny, you know, uh, no kids. It's just all these things. I'm just like, Miss Quad, are you even all that, sweetheart? It's so funny, Miss Quad. It's so funny that all of a sudden you know what you don't want. After you had what you had, and and you know besides the fact that y'all was um y'all was fighting and you know knocking each other up against the wall, I th everybody liked Doctor G. I ain't never heard no bad news about Doctor G until we started to hear the bad news. We was not in a marriage. We don't know what happened. I would never try to um <clears throat> put my thoughts in on the situation. I've never been married. Don't plan on getting married. If it happens one day, great. But if not, then <laughs> what New York told delicious, um, it, <laughs> too damn bad. And hopefully your life turns out well, if not too damn bad. So, um, yeah, I mean, hey, um, you, you can't uh, go by society norms on, on what you should be or what you should do. You just have to do what's best for you. And, some, and your life is not going to be this person's life. This person's life is not going to be, you know, your life. Some people get things at different times or some people don't get, you know, that same thing at all. And, you know, anyway, pluses and minuses, darling. But yeah, Miss Quad, girl, go somewhere. Oh, God. Quad make it so hard to like her sometimes. She really do. And I love Miss Quad. But ugh. this season, she is really irking my nerves to pieces, darling. Okay, um, there was a scene with Heavenly. And her three kids. Um, we've seen one of her sons many times. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. My throat is hurting. I just went to the doctor the whole night. Um, we've seen one of her sons. And we see Alora all the time. Um, but we've seen one of her sons. But it's another one of her sons that never really liked to be on camera. So we got to see him. Boys look just alike. Um, they look like both Heavenly and Damon. And Alora just looked like Heavenly. Um, so it's nice to see, you know, beautiful kids, all the good stuff. Um, Alora's 13 and she's talking about, um, meeting her friends at the uh, movie theater. Heavenly, she was just like, she's, you know, that's her only daughter and she's the youngest and she wants to hold on to her as much as possible. Um, 
you know, she don't want her to go out with her friends. One of the brothers was just like, you know, let me go with you. She was like, no, 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 no. Um, Alora is definitely a different type of 13-year-old for sure. She's definitely wise beyond her years, but also 13 is just 13 still. But we are living in a different time. Well, kids definitely grow up a little faster than they should. Um, my whole thing is, you know, I probably would have let her go. And she did eventually let her go. Um, but I would definitely have spies in the facility. I would send her brothers or, I don't know, some cousins, uncles, aunts, whatever. Um, and, and they would be in the back just watching everything, making sure that everything is okay. If the friends decide they want to go out to eat afterwards. You know, I would just always make sure I'm somewhere near. Not know where they can see me, but I see them. Because we see each other. Aha. Uh -huh. So anyway, moving on from that. Um... You know, we see a Jackie. Um, she's doing Jackie, you know, at the office. Um, you know, Jackie is an amazing doctor. I, I, I would not doubt that. I would not doubt that. I cannot doubt that. She is um, incredible at what she does. That's why she's so successful. Um, yes. Okay. Scott and Contessa had a scene. Um... With the therapist, Scott finally admitted that he was wrong. He finally said that um, he would love, he will support his wife this time and will allow her to go back to school. So does that mean that she going back to school? And Where was she at? Texas? I don't know where she was. I can't remember. But um, does that mean that she's going back to school there or is she going to try to find the same program in Atlanta? Like how does that work? I don't know why she just couldn't find a place in Atlanta anyway or just fly or or just have the kids and the husband with her while she was doing the the uh program. But she she don't wanna be bothered with them kids, child. Who we front she front and try that like I'm sure she loves her kids. We all love the kids, right? We love them. Uh, but she, she couldn't focus if them kids was up there with her. That's why she was up there by herself. And you know, whatever lady lover that she had at the time. Allegedly, allegedly. Y'all not gonna put them rumors out there like that. But um anyway. So yeah, I was just like, um, so is she going to have to spend all that money all over again when she could have just finished the first time? I don't know. No, people got way more money than me, so let me stop. But, um, Contessa, are you satisfied? This is what you wanted, right? I guess. Scott pretending not to be pissed, but he's still mad. Wait till them kids start getting on his nerves. Uh, let me see, let me see. So Buffy, Buffy had a scene and she wanted to invite all the ladies over to the spa day situation. Um, and you know, so all the ladies get there, uh, Mariah hurt her foot to this time. <coughs> Sorry y'all, my voice going in and out. I told y'all my voice is on, throat is on fire right now, darling. I'm trying to push through because I'm a soldier. Thanks for making me a fighter. Make my skin a little bit faster. Is my skin make make my skin a little bit bigger? What Christina saying? <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, um, so yeah, Mariah hurt her toe again. I was just like, Lord have mercy, Jesus, what's going on? Um, so anyway, all the ladies get there. Um, now Mariah, she decided to bring a plus one. Buffy said in her confessional she knew that Mariah was going to be, bring a plus one because she was injured. I, why she just didn't stay at home? And then she didn't even get a, a massage at the spa day. She, so why she just didn't stay at home? But whatever. Maybe she was contractually oblig, obligated to be there. I don't know. Um, but anyway, the plus one that she brought was her sister Lake. And y'all know the whole accusations of Quad allegedly sleeping with um, Lake's ex-husband. And you know the whole night and what whatever whoop to whoop. So they brought Lake and Heavenly was texting Quad. This was before Quad got there. Heavenly was texting Quad saying that Lake was here. So Quad came there. Her red car. She she was on it. She was on pins and needles. I was like, Lord, here we go. Now was that a messy move for um, Mariah to bring Lake? I, I'm two kinds of ways about it because. Um, 
I mean, she couldn't bring her husband. It was all ladies there, right? It wasn't a couple's thing. Um, would it have been better if she would have brought, um, what's the lady, a uh, brown skin lady, short blonde hair, that was on their last season. Um, I forgot her name. Would it have been better if she would have brought her or, you know, I mean, I just, I just wanted to came personally. And then it was pouring down raining and, you know, when it's raining or, and when it's cold and they make, you know, bones and stuff and, and, you know, they make the ache. The aches and pains worse. I wouldn't have came if, if my if my um, foot was tore up like that. I just wouldn't have came. But uh, I mean, you know. But is is there a messiness to uh, Mariah and the way that she moves? Absolutely, for sure, for sure. But like I've said many times before, is Mariah shady? Mariah has the shadiest confessionals of them all, for sure. Is Mariah shady? Yes. Is Mariah mean? Is Mariah a lot of things they say? Absolutely. But in my opinion, I don't feel like Mariah is any more than any of the other ones is. If 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 uh, Mariah is shady and messy and, and all this bad stuff, ain't heavenly. And we love heavenly. But ain't quad. And we love quad. We, different, we ain't Toya. And we love Toya. So I'm just like... The things that they are arguing about and going back and forth about is really just things that are also in themselves, but they don't see it that way. Um, and I see it. I've been watching the show since season one, day one. So, I, you know, I mean, everybody has that um, capacity to be in them. But maybe it's a different thing that's going on behind the scenes because Mariah is um, executive producer. But I'm sure that she's one of many executive producers. Um, so, I'm sure she has a little bit of power, but... So does all these other 33 people. Um, you know, so I mean, if one person vote against something and the rest of the 32, 33 people uh, vote for something, then that one vote don't damn matter. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't know. Um, so anyway, Lake was there. Lake looked just like their mama, Mama Lucy. I love Mama Lucy. Mama Lucy is, is crazy. Um... Let me see. So, uh, Buffy, she gets on the screen. They're in Buffy's house. And um, she gets on the screen and she tells the ladies that she would not be there to join them. But um, she got a bus for the ladies outside that her team will help them get to the place and get set up, etc. So they go to this other little house or whomever play. I don't know. Um, they get there and, and you know, it's... Um, little spot it's a little massage chair set up um there's like eight masseuses there um you know they they get the massage it's lovely it's wonderful buffy she come out of her um ensemble everything is out boom bam tits and, and butt and just everything is just luscious and just living for it darling and and toya she got instantly naked um toya had about 10 people rubbing on her she was she was she was um She's definitely enjoying some things. Toya's definitely into a lot of things. Eugene just don't seem that adventurous. But maybe he is. <laughs> maybe he is. Maybe we just don't know about it. But uh, Toya seems she seems like she's too much for uh, Eugene uh, in the bedroom. Well, I don't know. Maybe he got some tricks. I don't know. Um... So they was going, you know, kind of throwing shade about her leaving a video message and all that kind of stuff. That's something I would have did, too. I didn't think that was a big deal. Um, so Buffy, she had a lot of energy. She was yelling the whole time. Woo, woo, woo. Very Ric Flair. Um, she was just, you know, giving it. And, and Jackie was just in her confessionals, you know, shading her. Time. I don't know what octave she's using. Maybe it's dog-like, etc. Since Buffy called Jackie out, Jackie will forever have a bad taste in her mouth about Buffy. And as, as exceptional as Jackie is, and as much as the people look up to Jackie, Jackie, you're not above any reads. Over, you know, you're not above anything over everybody else. But maybe she thinks that she is. Um, so, I, I don't really get that part, Jacqueline. But, um... Yeah, honestly, I want them all to let it go. I see scenes from next week where they're bringing this whole thing back up again. Now, Buffy, y'all, I'm going to wait till next week. Now, y'all wrong. Y'all keep bringing this silly stuff up. They don't squat. Buffy don't say how she had, what she had to say about it. 
Jackie done said what she had to say about it. Then Jackie apologized to her, etc. Why is it not over with now? Now, I'm tired of y'all rehashing old stuff all the time. Really. Um, and actually, next week is the season finale. For some reason, it seems like this season just started. They really haven't had much going on this season. This season kind of been a little bit tired and through. Married to Medicine do better. Um, so let me see. So they got uh, Contessa ended up coming in. Contessa looked really good with her braids. Um, so they came in. All of a sudden, Buffy tells them to wrap it up, child. And all of a sudden, we see some goats, child. They about to do this stupid goat yoga. That's some white people mess. I don't. I don't understand the appeal of, of of you getting a massage and goats just all around you, pissing and shitting everywhere and climbing on your back. I don't understand why that's. Um, I, I just don't understand. How is that peaceful? And you're sitting here trying to be in a Zen pose. Trying to concentrate and trying to, you know, be one with the world. And then all of a sudden the goat climb on your back. And start eating your hair. How, how is that? What does that do for me though? Okay, so um, Buffy, you know, she obviously just wants to see the reaction or something. But, you know, whatever. Not my gig at all. Um, because she was just like, child, goats. They eat everything, child. They eat your teeth, everything. To my uh, Mariah, you better watch out. Y'all know um, Mariah got a new set of um, dentures. Um, child, one of the goats was just chewing on Contessa's hair, and Toya was just like, child, they goat them. <laughs> and and I got it wrong on my tweet. I said heavenly, but um, uh, Toya, you're gonna say, uh, not Contessa. See that goat that discovered that your hair is hay, honey. Hey. We have been telling you for years to swap out them hay wigs for human hair. I scream. Contessa has the worst wigs. She really does. And this is Contessa's what? Third season? You ain't got your wigs together yet? No, honey. That's just being cheap. Or maybe she done spent all that money on that school and then she had to quit. Now that she gonna have to spend the money back on and, and she say forget the hell. I don't know them people finances. Like I said, they got way more money than I do. Uh, let me see. What else is going on? Um, so, all the ladies get done with that. Some of the ladies enjoyed the experience. Some of them didn't. Um, and so they all sit down. And all of a sudden, we have Heavenly. <sighs> Lord. I always got to be one to bring up the mess. So here go heavily. Tell me there's an elephant in the room. Lake is here. I'm like, here we go. Why after y'all always have nice events, y'all always got to start with the BS? Why don't y'all get the BS out first if you're going to do it? If the producers are telling you to do it, whoever. Why don't y'all get the BS out first? And then, uh, uh, have fun. Why don't y'all do that? They never do it. So, um... All of a sudden, she brings that up, and I was like, "Lord, here we go." Then here come Toya and her and her uh, questions and asking Cole how does she feel about Lake being here. And Contessa was just like, "Child, don't do that. Don't do that." Lake said that Cole and I was friends before any of y'all was friends. Um, we have a lot of history. We have a lot to unpack, and and that's just it. We're gonna let it go. I didn't know that Lake knew Quad before Mariah knew Quad. See, see, when it comes to situations like that, with people that have so much dirt on each other, with people that have been friends for that long, I mean 10 plus years and, and on and on, I, I think that anybody, any and everybody should stay out of that situation. Because you really don't know. We would never know. I would never know. None of them truly would never know what all went down between them. Um... All we can do is just speculate and go off who's ever our favorite. Um, but, you know, like Contessa was saying, just let it go. That's a situation that nobody should um, jump into. And Mariah's snapping off on Contessa. That was inappropriate and uncalled for. Telling Contessa to be quiet and stuff and all that. And it's just like, well, damn. She was like, you always want people to defend you and stuff. But then y'all do this craziness. And I agree. 
Contessa low key can whoop all their ass, but um, she knows that, so that's why she don't. Um, but yeah, it was just like, oh, here we go, here we go with the mess. I tell you, maybe we'll find out some the real tea on what happened at the reunion. Either way, I don't give a damn. But I, I guess uh, this is the storyline that we got this season, so they gonna make us care, and 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 and, and that's what it is. So, maybe at the reunion something is revealed on who's truly telling the truth. And I don't care either way. Because they all got dirt on each other. They all done had a past. They all do stuff. They all done did stuff. They all going to do stuff in the future. And, 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 and what now? Y'all still going to be sitting on the show together. arguing seven years from now about the same thing. Child, please. With that said, I am Mr. Chilaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Is He's World on Instagram and Twitter. At Is He's World 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. Run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. And I'll see you guys later. Congratulations, Mariah. Ah, darling.